praise the Creator. The dignitary is on the podium and off the podium. It's a great pleasure for me to be here and share a little bit of my uh, experience and views on uh, climate change. Climate change is nothing new. This has been happening from the time the universe has been made. The difference, each time climate change occurred, there have been natural forces involved, but this time, this time, the climate change is being forced more by human interaction than nature's own interaction. Of all that we have been doing to our environment, the most important thing, especially of the 20th and the 21st century, is that of electropollution. Our environment represents the totality of physical, chemical, biological, behavioral, and socioeconomic factors or conditions that constitute the external milieu surrounding the human organism. Claude Bernard said this. And what is interesting is Bob Becker, one of the most uh, prominent medical scientists of this century, says the greatest polluting element in the Earth's environment is the proliferation of electromagnetic fields. I'm sure most of you must be wondering, what is this electromagnetic fields? We have never had this thing before. We are now in a situation where we cannot do without electricity. But then, the very electricity with which, on which we have become dependent has become the danger, the point of extinction of our own life. We live in a very toxic, sleep-deprived, stressed out, nutrient deficient world. In fact, the air quality is so poor. And we are concerned about our water, we are concerned about what we eat, the pollutants in what we eat, but what we are not concerned as yet is the electrical and electromagnetic interferences in the environment that are predominantly being caused by human intervention. Electropollution introduces biologically toxic electrical frequencies into our environment. These frequencies, these frequencies or electromagnetic fields, they disturb the communication within the human body, between the cells in the human body resulting in serious diseases all the way from diabetes to cancer. Problems that we are facing today in every part of the world, whether you call it as uh, an advanced world or you know, a first world and a third world, it doesn't matter. We're all having the same thing. Cell phones, you know, today we pride in introducing 5G not realizing that by introducing such fallacies, we are actually creating our own death knell. Electromagnetic pollution occurs through almost everything that we're doing, whether from our diagnostic equipment or from power lines to you know, all the devices that we are holding on, including all your devices that we are going on. Today, do we go around without a cell phone? Impossible. We, we would probably, we can go away without food, but without that phone in our pocket, we are lost completely. Or TVs. In fact, our home is filled with equipment that is irradiating us with electromagnetic fields. Every part of the home, everything we do. The worst thing about electromagnetic frequencies is that they can travel around the world eight times in one second. 
eight times in one second and disturbing everything around. Creating what is called as electro smog, you know, all your antennas, your dishes, your communication systems, they are completely filled with these electrical charges. And the result, yes, they cause, they carry infections. They change the way microbes behave. They change the way in which animals behave. They change the way in which we interact with our own universe. And there's a new disease now called electrosensitivity. People having headaches, sleeplessness, being very, very tired, unable to sleep. Just the beginning of what is called as electrosensitivity. The moment they come near video display terminals, their head begins to give them a pain and their thoughts go away. Electropollution leads to cancer, heart disease, autoimmune disease, diabetes, attention deficient disorders, asthma, genetic changes. There's a whole list. And if you read this list, you'll be wondering what are we doing today to ourselves? Because all these diseases that we talk about that I'm listing now that you can see on screen, they're all being caused by one single factor, electricity electropollution that is purely man-made. In fact, you'll be surprised to know one thing about this human body. Our body is made of about 30 trillion cells, but along with this 30 trillion cells in the body, we have 39 trillion microbes. The interaction between these cells and the microbes is what maintains our health, and electropollution has been disturbing the synergy between these two, the human cells and the non-human cells, resulting in major diseases of today. In fact, your power lines cause blood cancers. Right now, I have a dear friend of mine who is suffering Well, the inescapable conclusion of these findings is the 20th century epidemic of the so-called diseases of civilization, diseases of civilization, including cardiovascular disease, cancer, diabetes, suicide. My respectable colleague was talking about suicide in Sweden, a country which I love a lot. I, used, I spent a lot of time where, for the first time in the world, we had actually talked about cancer and the association of microbes with cancer. But anyway, <clears throat> well, these, all these are preventable diseases that have been brought in by our own intervention. You know, there are many studies that have now shown that mobile phones are dangerous to life. In fact, Two major European studies have shown very clearly that mobile phones are the cause of most of the problems today, including your derailed thought processes also, and resulting in brain tumors. You know, a typical cell tower has about five inches long signal that travels around the globe, as I said, 10 times. And uh, you know, it actually gives you a 1.9 billion cycles per second, the signals which destroy every signal that goes on between one cell to another cell in the human body, which is absolutely responsible and impo important for the cell to maintain its own harmony. Now, if you say that this body is the residence of God, the temple where God exists, and if you cannot maintain your temple, then what respect are you paying to that very God whom you want to praise every moment of your existence? With all our interferences that we are doing mindlessly and altered mindfully, you know who's going to be the end 
bearers, our children and grandchildren. If you really love them, if you really love yourself, if you really love your children, your grandchildren, stop the nonsense in the name of science that you're doing today. Be aware of every step. Move and make sure that you give them a clean, green place to stay and see that their smile on their face lives because today, with all the environmental pollutions that we're doing, newborn children are already suffering with the toxins in their body. They've not even come onto this earth as yet. They're still in their mother's womb, but are suffering from the toxins that we have let out into our own environment. Most recent study, microplastics in fetal cells, in fetal blood, and the breast milk of a feeding mother. What a shameful existence are we that we are not only putting ourselves into trouble, but we are already destroying our next generation and the next after that. Barack Obama, the 44th president of the United States said, science is about ensuring the facts and evidence are never twisted or obscured by politics or ideology. It's about listening to what our scientists have to say, even when it is inconvenient especially especially when it is inconvenient. For the sake of us all, especially our children, leaders from all continents should come together to address this unfolding tragedy to humans, animals, and nature. The tragedy of electropollution, more than your chemical pollution, more than your microbial pollution. Well, it's nice to talk about problems, but we also need a minute to talk about what solutions we have, especially when we talk about electropollution. Please well, make it brief, sir. I've just finished the last slide, sir. Distributed generation is a way to go in terms of electrical, uh, you know, the things that we're doing. We have uh, a, a beautiful technology, steam-based. What you see is a steam generator a very tiny turbine, a very tiny alternator. In fact, what you see me holding in my hand is a 250 kilowatt alternator. A one megawatt power generator, which is absolutely safe, clean, and green, brought to you by E2E, a company based in the Netherlands. Probably some, the way to go. Well. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Thank you very much.